Hey guys, welcome back to yet another fresh episode on wireless technology. So in today's video, we'll address a problem which is there in the IEEE 802.11 that is data link layer and in that we have a problem called as a hidden terminal problem or the hidden station problem. So stay tuned to my video to understand what this problem actually is. So uh, to start with, we basically consider three different stations or in fact, I'll uh, explain with help of a simple example. Uh, consider B is a girl and A and C are two different guys and these two guys are uh, well separate from each other means uh, C and A are at a very uh, long distance means say for example 100 meter and uh, C doesn't know the presence of A and so A is calling or A is being transferring or communicating to B at some uh, data rate now uh, C uh, before it uh, starts communicating or C before it starts uh, want to do the data transfer it will send some medium so before uh, in human beings also if you want to uh, approach some uh, person we'll just see if any person is there or not so that's basically kind of sensing so since it sees that the medium is free and so uh, it will fall under the wrong impression that the medium is free and so it will start to transfer so as an end result what happens is this communication is ongoing and he also starts the communication so what happens is basically the collision happens at this point that is at station B and so the packet get lost and so uh, there are two things or two cases which happen in this that is C is unaware about the existence or presence of A means C doesn't know that A is there or not because uh, it's hidden because of this B and C is unaware about the data transfer that A is being transferring to B and so there are two major wastages which happen in this that is the collision uh, that is uh, this uh, data packet uh, which is being done and uh, this data transfer which is being done so uh, those two collision of data packets happen there and so the time duration the uh, time wastage will also happen so we cannot let this problem go uh, so for that we have some certain solutions so those solutions are the range of sensing should be greater than the receiving range means for example uh, your understanding level should be much greater so uh, that range of sensing should be greater than the range of receiving and it's mostly used in the hyperland that is high performance radio local area networks or uh, you could also use a, a provision called as the MACA which is called as the multiple access collision avoidance so what it basically does is it has two signals that is request to send RTS and clear to send that is CTS so we'll just consider this scenario and uh, we'll draw some lines here so basically what happens is uh, first of all a will uh, communicate with b uh, for that it will send a rts signal now rts signal contains a triplet it will contain the sender's address recipient's address uh, i've uh, denoted with at the rate a and at the rate b and for uh, how much time the future transmission will occur means uh, after how many hours say for example after five hours they are going to again uh, do the communication and so uh, when B uh, will receive that RTS, it will uh, just give back a CTS that is clear to send and it will have the address of the sender, the recipient and for the time duration they are going to do the transfer. So uh, this CTS is also being sent to the nearby station so it will come to know that during uh, this time period or for at, at least 10 time duration they are going to do the transfer and so C will not participate uh, within that time and it will not cause any disturbance uh, and then later it can do the transmission so well that was all regarding the hidden terminal problem in wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to get educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching this video